So the motivation here is scalable oversight. We are going to have models eventually which are superhuman, which will be better at reasoning, no more facts than me. So what happens if I ask one of these models a question? I you know, ask it, oh, what's the effect of some economic policy say? And the model says that policy is great. It gives a bunch of facts, it gives a bunch of citations, I read it, I'm like, oh, that you know, seems like a reasonable response. But is that actually true, or is the model just giving an answer that it knows will kind of satisfy my pre-existing biases in order to get its upvote? How could I tell if this model is actually telling the truth or not? The idea with debate is instead of asking one model, we ask two. One model we ask to argue for the position, the other model we ask to argue against the position. And now, if the first model tries to deceive me by selectively presenting evidence or using rhetoric, the second model is incentivized to point that out. So that's the motivation. And we have some theoretical results that, from prior work that, at least in the interactive proof setting, it is the optimal strategy for the debaters to present true arguments. But the question is, does this actually generalize to real-world questions we might want to ask, where there might be less formal than, uh, than these kind of interactive proof settings? So, we're extending some prior work by Khan Adal earlier this year. We have different protocols. So we have debate, which is the one I described. The models kind of argue against each other until the judge gives the answer. We have consultancy, where a single model is randomly assigned to a position and needs to convince the judge of that position. We have QA, where we just ask the judge directly. These are kind of ablations with no debate. And then we have the open versions of these protocols, where the consultant or the first debater decides what argument they're going to argue for. We also evaluate on different types of tasks. So Conadel evaluated on quality. This is a data set with short sci-fi stories and questions about these stories that require looking at the uh, text they were modeling this asymmetry between the judge and the debaters via information asymmetry. The debaters have access to the passage, the judge does not. We also extend the analysis to closed tasks, which is just standard QA, where the debaters and judges both see everything. So how does this impact the accuracy of the judges in these different debate settings? First of all, we can compare debate versus consultancy. And we're able to reproduce previous work showing that across all of our models and tasks, debate outperforms consultancy. So this is good. The, the judge benefits by seeing both sides of the position. However, the results are less clear on the closed setting. For example, when we just ask the judge to answer the question directly, Debate doesn't always give an improvement, so we're not actually necessarily benefiting in this closed setting from these debates without the information asymmetry. We also see this in the debater performance. So across both of the task types, more powerful models lead to higher ELO, meaning that they're more effective at convincing the judge of their position. However, if we look at how this corresponds to judge accuracy, in the extractive setting, yes, more persuasive debaters lead to higher judge accuracy. But in the closed setting, if we don't have this information asymmetry, there's not a clear trend. More persuasive debaters are better at convincing the judge, but it doesn't necessarily translate into better judge accuracy. Finally, we have some results on open protocols. So this is again, where the consultant or one of the debaters decides which position to argue for. We can see the judge accuracy here. The dark bars show when the consultant or debate or first debater decides to argue for the true position. So the blue bars are consultancy, and when the consultant decides to argue for the true position, the judge accuracy is very high. But when the consultant decides to argue for the position that happens to be false, the judge accuracy is very low. This means that the judge is very swayed by the consultant. It's basically just going along with whatever the consultant says. In debate, by contrast, when the first debater decides to argue for the true position, the judge still gets fairly good accuracy. But when the debater argues for the false position, because we still have the other debater arguing for the true position, the judge achieves much higher accuracy. It's much less likely to just be swayed. So in future work, we want to go beyond prompting. We want to actually use these judge 
feedback as a training signal for debate. We want to look at continuing to improve the judge analysis, to continue improving judge performance, and we're also interested in do these results with language model judges generalized to human judges. That's the paper. Thanks.